Hello again, minions, and welcome to another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up. This week, we're going to go over what happened on the channel, and we're also going to talk about a new announcement this week for a new Aliens game? I think we're going to do a trailer reaction. At, uh, just stick around. It's going to be good times. The Aliens. <laughs> Okay, minions, let's get right into it. Uh, on the channel this week, we had a full weekly plan here. Uh, the first video that went up was Call of Duty 4, which is to say it was the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. But I played some COD 4 multiplayer uh, and posted that just to kind of see how it held up today versus uh, the other Call of Duty games, as well as since I've been going back through older games, like in the Battlefield series. I figured, why not try some old COD? Maybe even capture some stuff for Wheezy's War College, which is also still coming very soon. Uh, so here is a clip from me playing some COD 4. What? 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 No. All right. All right. Hi. Oh, what the fuck any fuck fuck. Ugh. Now I'm starting to remember how this game felt. <laughs> felt good, but man, there were a lot of these little just things. What? Okay. So as it turns out, COD 4 still feels like COD 4, even in 2021. Uh, but it was good fun, a good video. You should go check that one out. Uh, the next one I did was when Season 2 launched with Call of Duty Cold War, they released the Major Zombies update as well as a new uh, map, uh, Apocalypse. There may have been a couple of maps, but they were doing an Apocalypse Mosh Pit playlist for the new map. Uh, so I decided to jump into a couple rounds of that and make a video about it. And so here's a clip from that one. This game is like, in, in so many ways, day after day, absolutely broken. Go fuck yourself. Are you fucking serious with this horse shit? All right. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Still, I don't, I'm, you know, the new season, I guess I'm trying it out, but. What? <laughs> what? So yeah, I don't really dislike that map. I think it's a pretty decent map, but Cold War still sucks butts. So that's a fun video to watch so that you can see the new map and also See Cold War still being Cold War. It's still entertaining. So, um, yeah, after that, kind of switched gears. I wanted to kind of try out just kind of... I, my original idea was to just do a video that was basically showing how kind of Game Pass works on Xbox. And uh, so I just kind of started recording, picked a game randomly off of Game Pass and started playing it. And it turned out it was this game called Donut County, or as I call it, the big hole game which is just full of visual puns and dad jokes. Uh, so here is a clip of some awful dad jokes from that playthrough. Uh, okay. Give it a cock slap. Cock slap with my snake. Oh yes, cock over the top. Oh my. Oh, it's exploded. It's exploded from all of the action my cock has given me. Cocks and snakes in the hole. Hi truck, you can fall now. Thank you, gravity. Big cock, big cock in my hole. You've put a big cock in my hole and I'm so clever I'm the first to ever think of this hilarious joke. I'm definitely gonna have to call this video Put Your Big Cock In My Hole. And it'll probably be stricken from YouTube. But it's okay, because I already have a small audience. So what can they do to me? Really, <laughs> nothing. So that game was surprisingly just an entertaining little game to play. The video is about 20 minutes. Uh, the entire playthrough of the game from beginning to end for me took about an hour. So uh, short and sweet and fun and silly jokes and cock jokes and <laughs> um, worth checking out. You know, a little, little kind of out of the ordinary for me, but, but still worth checking out. Um, the next video after that was a, another Zombies video. Uh, I played, I put in 
a zombies gameplay last week, but this week I put together uh, some of the gameplay that I had taken over playing zombies the first week and put together kind of a, a zombies guide uh, focused primarily on Outbreak, but basically what it covers is which ways in zombies are the best and most fun for ranking up and getting XP in Cold War by playing zombies. So I kind of compared Outbreak with Onslaught with like the traditional zombies mode. Um, so here's a clip from that Hi. video. I'm also going to briefly here at the beginning address uh, two other core zombie modes and just give a little bit of a breakdown on how they compare in terms of overall fun and playability, in my opinion, as well as how they compare as far as the amount of XP you'll earn. So again, the way that I introduce this video is this is, in my opinion, the best way to rank up using zombies, not necessarily the absolute most efficient. And next up, we have the escort objective, which is where you follow a rover around the map as it goes to different warp anomaly points with a monkey in the backseat that procedurally trans, uh, transmorgifies it, gets trans... What the fuck word am I looking for? It transforms. Jesus, it transforms into various things like snowmen and random shit. Uh, and you essentially defend the rover as it moves from point to point until it finally reaches the final point. Um, meanwhile, from each point you get waves of zombies, etc, etc. And So yeah, I think there's a, a good amount to learn from that video and it's, you know, some good information. Um, you guys go check that out. I cover all of the objectives in Outbreak, the side missions you can do, and kind of like my recommendation for how to efficiently play Outbreak while still having a lot of fun slaughtering zombies. So uh, the last video that I posted, which as I'm recording this went live this morning, is actually some gameplay from Battlefield Hardline, <laughs> or as I called it in the video, the next installment in Wheezy plays anything he can find with Battlefield in the title. And uh, it was it was interesting going back to Hardline. I was looking at my stats and I only played it for like 46 hours and going back I can kind of see why um, so I put a couple of gameplays together for that uh, and here's a clip of that yeah you can be dead thanks all right oh god I don't have I don't have a grenade. Good God. Please, please heal me. Please heal me, me. I'm almost out of ammo. Why am I almost out of ammo? Oh God. Why have I run out of, what am I, what is hurting me? Why am I hurt? Fuck me. I'm blind. I'm fucking blind. What the fucking fuck? What the fucking fuck? <laughs> so yeah, go check that out for some kind of old school non-Battlefield Battlefield action. Uh, it's very interesting going back through these old Battlefield games and kind of remembering uh, this big walk down memory lane. I think that was, what, 2015 or something like that for Hardline. So uh, that kind of wraps it up for the the content to the channel this week. Once again, I didn't have any story time stuff to do, although because of what we're about to talk about, with Aliens Fire Team that's gonna be coming out in the future. It makes me feel like I really need to get back into playing Alien Isolation for story time, uh, as well as trying to motivate myself to get back into Assassin's Creed. But uh, I've been enjoying just shooting things in the face this week and dropping things in my big hole. So um, what I wanna do for this is basically I wanna fire up the announcement trailer for Aliens Fire Team. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over here so you can still see me and then there's that. And we're just gonna hit play. I haven't watched this yet. So we're gonna we're gonna watch it together and and see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna let me let me turn on the desktop audio. Hold on, let me back that up. <sighs> I gotta make sure I'm capturing the desktop audio. It's gonna be silent for you. There are some places in the universe. I've got I love aliens so much. My favorite franchise of all time. Not because the games have been great, though. You don't fight alone. Co-op shooter action. I saw part of a stream 
that IGN did with gameplay, and the graphics look nice. I mean, you know, not the best graphics in the world, but they look modern. I mean, come on, shooting aliens. Third-person shooters, though. <sighs> aliens, aliens, running, 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 aliens, aliens. Oh god, facehugger. Is that like a, that wasn't like a queen, that was kind of like a warrior queen. There's gonna be a queen battle. You know there's gonna be a queen, and that's what this is. That's a queen. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Summer 20... That's, that's like soon. That's in like a few months. What? So, I am like a big Aliens fan. Matter of fact, I guess you can't really see it on the camera right now, but there's a picture right here on my wall that is an alien, a little baby alien riding a rocket ship. <laughs> and then there's one over here that's a predator doing whack-a-mole with some face huggers. Um... But here's the thing. Alien games throughout kind of history have been notoriously bad. <laughs> Some of them have been okay or playable. There was like a real-time strategy game that was okay a while ago. There's been a lot of, there's been a couple first-person shooters over the years. I actually had an interesting Alien versus Predator first-person shooter for the Atari Jaguar um, where you could play as any of the three. There was what... There was a game like that just a few years ago where it was a multiplayer-based game. You could play as the alien, the predator, or a marine. Um, so this is going to be, a, you know, like a... not. It doesn't. Well, I'm sure there will be a wave-based mode, but from what I've seen, you're moving through levels. So it's like you're, you're fighting waves of aliens, but it's as you're moving through decently-sized levels with a fire team of three players. So unfortunately, when it comes to alien games, regardless of how shitty they are, they get my money because I love the alien franchise. <laughs> So even if I only play it for like a minute, um, they're going to get it. There's actually a video, maybe two, on this channel you can search for that are like 10 years old where I played, I think it was maybe some beta gameplay for like the last kind of multiplayer alien game you could play. So you can actually search that up on my channel and find some old alien gameplay. But yeah, I'm going to be playing that. So you can expect to see videos when that comes out. And if you guys like Aliens too, and you decide to spend money on what might not be the best game in the world... Uh, let's play together, because I, for, otherwise I'll play with randoms or bots, but hey, you guys want to play Alien, like, let's play some fucking Aliens. Um, so yeah, uh, feedback time, what do you guys think about Aliens games? <laughs> what do you guys think about whatever? What are you playing right now? What do you care about? Uh, always want feedback. You like what's on the channel right now, what do you want to see? What are you tired of? You tired of me playing all these old crappy games? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Things have been going pretty well. I'm enjoying putting content on the channel at a regular pace, so uh, expect a lot more going forward. Hopefully soon, you know, we're going to see some announcements about new Battlefield stuff, and uh, yeah, I will, I will keep talking to you guys, and hopefully you will keep talking back. So take it easy, minions. See you later.